Yay! Hey everyone! Welcome! I'm so glad you're here in the Super Loved group and this is the day before we start our five-day Date Like a Unicorn event and I've been making my posters and planning and doing all the things I do to prepare and one of the things I wanted to give you are some tips on how to be in these five days starting tomorrow. So you may even be watching this when it's already started and if so, integrate these tips along the way. And I just wanna say I'm so excited for all of the new people that are in this group that I've never played with before and I'm just really happy you're here. I'll tell you that this is not like any other sort of dating training that you've probably seen, not like anything out there. So this is really an opportunity to create some space and freedom in your life when it comes to dating because if you're anything like me, for me it was just really a hard space because as someone who has always felt kind of like an outsider in in a lot of circles and even you know you may look at me now and go well yeah you're you're kind of eccentric or 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 weird or whatever um I didn't always look like this I mean I I had plenty of years where I was in corporate world working in a cubicle you know, leading teams and looking pretty normal, but inside knowing that I just really wasn't feeling like I fit in. And was that true? Not 100% true. I mean, I definitely had people that I got along with, but it's not really about that as much as how much we are sensing or feeling that difference, the is ever, anyone ever going to get me or maybe a feeling of rejection from parents or other partners in your life or after a marriage or whatever the thing is, there are way more of us out there that have experienced this. And I meet women all the time who look like these normal, corporate, driven, successful women that still feel a little bit un, un, misunderstood, let's say, misunderstood. And so I want to create a space for you to be able to come back to you and really from there, find the space to receive not only your desire, your full desire for that kind of relationship that's going to work for you, but receive your own awareness and wisdom and um, yeah, wisdom to navigate the dating space in a totally different way. And most of the time, people are functioning from these ideas about what should happen or what, you know, what they should look like or be like or, and that's, that's not, that's not helpful. So I'm inviting you in this, this five day, I actually had lit some Palo Santo. I like creating the space for a new beginning and not from like a super serious place, but just an intention, like the intention that we can create this week from a new place. So if you've ever played with Palo Santo, it's just this beautiful wood that, you know, can clear the space. It just smells really good. I love it. And, you know, offers that declaration, that space to declare, you know what? I am choosing this for me this week. I am going to set my calendar so that I can be at the live classes. I would recommend that. It's 
first making a choice to gift yourself this experience. So if you've been asking for some ease, you've been asking for a love relationship, if you've been asking for um, magic and miracles or a shift in you know, your heart, like if you felt pain from the past or felt like misunderstood or that people don't get you, this is an opportunity to make the choice first by choosing to be here in these five days. And we start every day at 9.30 Mountain Time. If you can't make it at the live time, then decide right now what time works for, for you to return to this group and actually watch the video and give yourself that experience because each day is going to involve some real depth. I mean, I'm not really interested in those kind of surface level skimming across the top and leaving people feeling kind of like, mm, did I really get anything? No, I am interested in the art and the consciousness of finding the one, which is an opportunity to go deeper to release those things that keep you from love and actually change them for good. So make a choice to be a part of this experience. Like that's, you know, kind of part of what you may even be including in your love relationship. Are you asking for someone who can be there for you? Are you desiring that kind of relationship where no matter what's going on, you hear, hey, we got this. And that requires some leaning in. So I'm inviting you the day before we start or whenever you listen to this to lean in. And so that's that's number one, choosing it, lean in, get, get your calendar set for this. And then, okay, I made some notes. Oh yeah, then arriving for the class, I invite you to show up like you are anticipating a date. So if you're thinking of this class, the date like a unicorn classes as a date, like what energy could you be for that? Like what energy are you wanting to be? I know for me, like thinking about seeing someone I was really excited about, there was this like sweet anticipation and like giddiness and like, oh my God, I can't wait, two more days, one more day, three more hours, like that kind of thing is an amazing energy to bring to this experience. And it's like all of the receiving portals open up, open up just by playing with anticipation as an energy. And then, what is it that I wrote that I can't quite need? Oh, here it is. So, and then the other one, the third tip for this week is, are you willing to be open to being wrong about what you have thought was possible? Wrong about what you believe about yourself or believe about dating or believe about dating at your age or believe about dating with your body in this moment, like whatever the things are, are you willing to be wrong about that? So there we go. We've got three tips to start our week. First one is you get to create this new beginning. We're gonna do this together. I am holding the space for all of the love stories and I am aware of all of the love stories that are available as a result of these five days. And I'm including you. I'm including you. And whether you're watching this now or in the future, you are part of this matrix of this space, this unicorn pasture for consciousness, for dating in a way that actually allows you to have greater than you could ever imagine. And that's really the brilliance of what the unicorn represents. The unicorn represents, you know, moving beyond the, what we've decided is impossible. 
in, in day one, we're going to talk about that. So in these five days, we're going to incrementally expand your space to receive amazing things. And it's not just magic and miracles. And it is, it's beyond that because it's also, it's also the brilliance of what can change when you play with the tools that I'm going to share with you. And when you have these changes, it actually changes you at the cellular level. And that is science. So we've got it all included, the mystical, the magical, the scientific, and the comical, which I hope um, you would like to um, play with. Um, so I, I'm excited to meet you. Will you please, um, will you please post in the comments when you watch this and say hello? I want to see who you are, say hello. Maybe we can message and I just want to meet all of you, as many of you as I can so that we can, um, really create the experience that you are asking for. Okay. Grateful for you being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.